This level 11 player has 20 1199 highest trophies as his personal best this is the world's highest trophy count in existence mm, it's an orange juice my friend henry who runs starless pro and made the deck shop but mentioned that's also posted on reddit that there's a player with 20 thousand trophies. trophies now for season 10 with trophy inflation for that season the highest player got 8700 trophies this guy tops it all and we had to source him we had to track him down his friend messaged me on twitter i found his clan and we're going to unravel what's happening in this story but before we uncover how this legend had 20,000 trophies i want to thank our sponsors for supporting this channel you for using code OJ. Every time you have code OJ entered and you buy anything from the shop, we get a small kickback from that. So thank you everyone from the support. Let's uncover how this legend hit 20,000. So we joined his clan, the Lizard King. Feel free to join this clan. It'll probably be open by the time this video is launched. How did you do the glitch? He found him on Reddit. Lulu says, I'm the Lizard King. Now here's, here's what's funny. If you go into the comments, it does say that Blue Life says it's impossible for you to drop below 4,000 trophies once you reach it and definitely impossible to reach 20,000 trophies in a month. Is he a hacker? I don't think so. So we joined his clan. And he asked if I was the real OG. Of course, I'm the real OG. I have the most limited emotes. The ghost emote, that $50 ice wizard emote. <laughs> was it 50? No, it was 20. It was like 25 and it worked. It was like $40 Canadian. He had the third birthday emote, then the fourth birthday pack emote. I don't think there are many people in the world that have all four of these emotes together. Nick and Knight mm -hmm. does. I know that for sure. But does Nick have this new emote that's in the shop? It's $13.99. Canadian. It's going to be exclusive for the next three months. It's not limited, mind you. So if you do want, if you actually like this emote, it'll be 250 gems in the shop. Let's make sure you're using code OJ. We're good. Okay. Now, this is actually worth it for me because I actually need skeleton dragons. I only have 1500. Maybe the super ultra mega lightning chest will give us something. 75,000 gold. We don't even need 20,000. We're going to be at a million already. Skipperoon is this. Okay. Not looking good. I think we've already gone through two commons. This chest is already not worth it. Oh no. Not like this. No skeleton dragons. Oh. <laughs> At least we got the emote out of that. I like it. It's it's obnoxious. It's missing that really loud horn though. But together, these six emotes create the perfect symphony. So looking at it. He's at 3,772 trophies. There's no way this happened in the last two years because once you hit 4,000, that's the gate now. You can't drop below 4,000. He's got all level 10 cards. He's got 95 out of 99 cards found. His favorite card is the golem. He's only got 2,000 wins. Nani! With 2,000 wins, let's say he, he got 30 trophies. Okay, that's possible. Wow. If he had zero losses, this is mathematically possible with 2,000 wins. There was something wrong with the ladder system, at least when he figured it out. So I went on ahead to ask Lulu, is this your main account? And he said, no, it's not. It doesn't have as many cards as his main. Wow. I would buy that account if you could buy account, but you can't. That's against terms of services. Don't ever buy accounts. <laughs> You're going to get your information stolen or the account's going to get locked. So I asked him, how did you push the 20,000 trophies? He says matchmaking was really different back then when I did it. That sounds suspicious. So I asked him if this was legit and he's like, yeah, it's legit. I did it like four years ago. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't believe him. When he said he did it four years ago, I looked at his account and he's only got a one year badge. This guy is lying. He said he won lots of attacks and didn't really lose that many. Even when he was like, really? How? I would find an opponent pretty quickly and beat them. Okay, I'm kind of thinking he's telling a bit of the truth. I I, I do believe him that this was three, four years ago that he did this. Stats Rail, Deck Shop, Rail API. None of those websites existed back then and he probably didn't have that much notoriety. That's... Wow. <laughs> I kind of believe him. He probably kept matching with level threes and he just kept winning and winning and winning. I think back then season resets were a lot longer too. It was more than just 30 days. He kept winning? Was he matching like level fives and sixes? I could totally see that. If he had a 66% win rate and he gained 30 trophies every single time. At first, I didn't really believe him. I said, there's no way. I don't believe that at all. Four years ago, it was impossible to even hit 3,000. Wasn't impossible, but 3,000 was the 6,000 of what it is today. 
3,000 back in my day would get you the ghost emote. Lulu says that he knows players at 15k, 13k, and 12k. They also all have one year badges. He says that he did quit three years ago and just recently came back. He was at 88 cards just a few days ago. Okay, I believe that too. Go to Stats Royale and you can see the highest trophy leaderboards right there. And he is freaking verified. This is real. This is legit. I believe him. I don't think he hacked. I think he just bugged. His account must have bugged out or glitched out or something. And then it just kept adding and adding and adding. He probably matched against like level threes and fours and he just kept winning and winning. Look at that. The next highest people are at 15,000, 12,000, 10,000. But then if you go to level 13, this is probably from season 10. Neptune got 87, 21 trophies. This is going to be the highest of all time. But technically, Lulu is the highest. And he's even freaking verified. 2,000 wins. 1700 losses okay let's say at 1700 losses he lost 24 trophies minus the 60,000 that's the difference he probably bugged out from losing so much and this probably happened three four years ago this is believable he probably gained 30 lost 20. i bet he lost like a hundred in a row and then it just bugged out his account and he only matched against really bad players or probably even bots bots are proven in the game now if you Look at Boss did a video, Bailey did a video, CWA did a video. Bailey uncovered the truth behind bots. There are bots in the game, but Bailey does a really good job explaining why they're in the game, and it absolutely makes sense. I think it's time to learn three decks from the world's number, number one, one player. player. So in this match, the number one player in the world, Lulu, is running a golem deck. He's going with the barbarian barrel. Strange. He's going to defend with the goblin cage right in front. Okay, I guess the number one player in the world knows best to put the goblin right in front of it. And to ignore the ice and to ignore the expo there. I see what he did there by ignoring the expo. His baby dragon and goblin cage connect the tower and take it out. This is the highest level play in the world right now with the number one player in the world. Oh, this is recent. Those are skeleton dragons. What is this? I've never seen a golem placement in that area. That is, this is some extremely high level play right now. I don't even, I can't even explain why he did that. I don't even know why he took so long to take out those skeletons. He had barbarian barrel, he had tornado. It, it this, this transcends anything I can explain from the world's number one player. Wow. wow. Going in with the prince, what's he gonna do? Again, the goblin cage right in front. Magical. Completely defending that expo. I, I see that placement there. How is he gonna defend this hog rider? He could use the night witch or the ice wizard. Both work very well. Tornado wing upwards instead of activating the king tower. This is some next level plays here. Look at that, he predicted that the skeleton dragons were going to be played. That's why he countered with an ice wizard. Unbelievable placements right now. From the number one player in the world, in Clash Royale history, with the highest trophies ever. ever. That's a world record trophies of 20,000. <laughs> golem versus Golem. I'm pretty confident he'll be able to defend against this golem. Going for an ice wizard to slow it down. Is he going to NATO it to the king tower? I think he might. Yes. Uh, not quite. But still. Lightning completely takes out golem and golemites of that health. Look at that calculated play. He waited until the lightning was just low enough to take out the golem so that it could splash onto the golemites. Boom, boom, boom. This is it. That's a 2-0 victory. Wow. In this next deck, Lulu's on the top this time. Notice how he's only level 11. The world's highest trophy player in the world as well as the highest level 11. Activating the King Tower. Dangerous. Okay. I don't know what his strategy is, but he just activated the King Tower. He's got Clone Spell, Mega Knight. They're just going for rockets. What is this magical high level play? I don't even know. How is he going to counter that goblin barrel? He 
He's still sitting on Elixir. He's trying to psych out his opponent. That's what it is. Oh my goodness! He tricked his opponent into playing a wizard and a magic archer. So he's got the Mega Knight. Oh my goodness! I can see the turnaround now. He just completely defended everything. They're basically at equal elixir, and now he's up 15 elixir on the map right now. Mega Knight, Executioner, just completely melted those barbarians. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's number one player there. Using mind games to be at such a huge positive elixir trade so that he can clone his Mega Knight and Executioner. This, this is it. This is it. This is how you play. This is this is next level. You, you try to, it's not even predicting the prediction. He predicted the prediction that he was going to predict, that he was going to predict, that he was going to predict the magic archer and the wizard. So he plants the Mega Knight in the, oh my goodness. I, 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 I can't even, this is, this is coming from the world's number one player. Somebody signed this man to CRL. All right, so we're going to hop into this match. We, I don't even know what he's going to pick. He's on the top side. I can't even commentate on what the picks are because I don't know how to get into his mind. Next level players. Right off the bat, he's defending that Sparky with the graveyard. Just insane. Knowing his opponent's a little confused now, trying to defend the graveyard. He rushes with elite barbs. Those e-barbs connect. His opponent is just so shocked that he couldn't defend it with the Mega Knight properly. Look at that perfect placement. Notice how he's placing the firecracker just far enough that the Mega Knight isn't able to jump. And logs it out, and it still doesn't jump on the Prince's Tower. This is next level plays right here. Just absurd. Oh my goodness, defending the Inferno Dragon with a graveyard. Look at that perfectly placed and perfectly timed graveyard. His opponent's so shocked, he knows he's not going to be able to penetrate the graveyard, so he had to rock it. Miner is coming in. Oh my goodness! He perfectly defends against that with a perfectly placed E barb. Predicted the placement of the miner immediately. Just look at that perfect placement of the E barb. Gets one hit on the tower. There's no way his opponent could let that executioner connect, so he had to defend with a Sparky. Perfect. The log placement takes out the Sparky. Spear Goblins connect to the tower. That's a lot of damage. Again, with the defensive graveyard. Look at that perfect placement. That Mega Knight stands no chance against Lulu right now. This is next level play. He knows he's not getting through the graveyard, so he had to rocket that. Perfect defense with E Barbs. Notice how only one got splashed. Both the barbs connect to the tower. That's it. That's good game. There's no way you're going to be able to get through the graveyard now. That's it. There's no way. Graveyard's going in. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Again. Oh my goodness. Look how he used the log to perfectly defend against his spear goblins. Distracting the Sparky to divert the tension. Onto the E-Barbs and not as Spear Goblins. There's no way his opponent was going to be able to penetrate that tower. This is the world's highest ranked player in the game's history. If you want to contact him, you can add him on Discord, the Lizard King 4726 And huge shout out to Quantum North for their support. This is super cool. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality Code OG.